Okay, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I finally got around to recording this video for you guys. So today, I'm actually really excited because I'm going to be doing a video on how I set up my dwarf hamster. Like, I'm going to show you guys everything that I bought for him and, like, also how to clean up, like, all his stuff, like, his wheel, his little ball everything everything that i use for this little guy and hopefully it could help you guys out if you have a little dwarf hamster so this is the little care sheet i'm gonna get right into it um let me see if i could focus it so this is the little care sheet that i got from petco and that's where i got him from um he was only 20 dollars himself uh, look i'll show you guys he's in his little ball right now he's so cute he's trying to smell me um but anyway, his name is Skittles. That's my cute little Skittles. Anyway, um, yeah, so he was $20 at Petco. And that's probably the least expensive purchase, like, you'll make about him, is him himself. Um, so yeah, he was only $20. And I got a mail. So, um, males are, they told me at Petco themselves that males tend to be more calmer and less aggressive than females. But honestly, he's pretty feisty, even as a male. So, um, I don't know if that's completely accurate. Um, what's it called? But yeah, I'm gonna go over this kind of like little fact sheet that they gave me. And then I'll show you guys what I got for him as far as his cage goes and other stuff that I use for him as well. And how to clean up all of like clean the cage and the wheel and all that stuff so if you haven't already like comment and subscribe i make videos every single week or at least i try to um and yeah so i'm gonna get into this little fact sheet so they are herbivores they have like some quick little facts on here they are herbivores and they can last you up to three years if you take care of them um as far as diet goes they said they're supposed to have a limited amount of grains, vegetables, fruits, and Timothy hay. And it says they're supposed to have clean, fresh, chlorine-free water changed daily. And not to feed them any, of course, things like chocolate, caffeine, alcohol. Um, avoid sugar and high-fat treats. So um, that includes, like... So as far as the fruits go, I did ask how often they're supposed to be eating fruits because I wanted to give them like towards the front of the store. They have these little brochures. Actually, it was right next to um the actual um little tanks where they're held in Petco. And they're these little brochures and they just goes over everything. And in the back, it's so helpful. I didn't even see this before, but it literally has a list on what you need for the hamster. So it says you need appropriately sized habitat, high quality hamster food, treats, which I don't have actually, bedding, nesting fluff, I don't have nesting fluff, I have, the, okay, so there's food bowl, water bottle, exercise wheel, hideaway place, toys, wood shoes, mineral shoes, dust and dust bath, and a book about dwarf hamsters. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so it comes um, this little brochure. I definitely recommend this little brochure if you don't really know much about your hamster It kind of goes over um, the basics that you really really need to know about your hamster also too, um I really really like the Petco rewards Thing the rewards program. I should say basically you just sign up with your your phone number or your email when you walk in and um, It saves you a lot of money and I'll, and I'll explain that throughout this video, but it did it did save me a lot of money just buying and signing up with a program at petco so now that we're done talking about all of that <laughs> i'm going to show you guys um the cage that i have for him what it came with um first let me say it's the brand kt and that's spelled k-a-y-t-e-e -E. And it's the Critter Trail, and I'll leave this in the description down below as well. And normally it was $60, but thankfully at Petco, <laughs> at Petco, it was it got reduced down to like $34. And um, I, another thing I noticed is that they have really, really good sales if you're purchasing 
either online or you're purchasing online and then picking up they have really good sales right now so definitely sign up for that and yeah so i got this cage originally 60 dollars. i got it for like 30 i want to say 34 and i'm gonna flip it around and show you guys which i'll probably have to start a new video but oh well um so i'll start a new video and i'll show you guys like what products i use and then i'll make another video showing you guys how i clean it all of his stuff up and yeah and then we'll just wrap things up after that okay you guys so currently this is his setup and um let me show you guys what exactly it came with so obviously it's two stories it's a two-story hamster cage this um this is a little lid that can open and close he also has little holes right here that he could come into this little tube right here and he could see out of and there's holes all throughout this and even at the top so that there's air ventilation going through obviously you don't want your hamster cooking look he's trying to get in but i have him exercising right now he needs to exercise because he's eating too much so anyway we're gonna place skittles over there um <clears throat> so what this cage came with was obviously these tubes and this was all already set up the way that it was but you can take these tubes off and you could take the top part off and you can adjust it to however you like really using um using these sides as well um that little cap here i'll show you guys this little cap can twist and come off and you can attach those tubes to the side as well as that thing in the top that little spaceship you can attach it to the side which i thought was really really cool also you have this big big piece of the cage you can take it off and fix his or take out his um his little food bowl or his little house very easily hold on let me put him in his cage really quick you guys could see this so this is his little bowl he's trying to get out already he wants to get out so bad and then he takes forever to get out so anyway, so it has that top door right here, which is very like, it comes in, what is he doing? It really comes in handy when you have to take the stuff out to clean it. So I really, really love that about the cage so that I don't have to take the whole top off, which you can. You could literally take this whole top part off. All, of it, all you have to do really is click unclick these right here and the whole top comes off i would show you but i don't want him climbing the cage that's one thing you do have to be careful of you never really want to leave those that top part open because they are very good climbers and he will climb right on out um you always want to make sure all those things are closed before you go to bed or all all the time before you even leave the cage actually um and yeah, so this cage already came built like this. It came with the with the water on the side too. It's not very big, but you have to make sure he always has fresh water every every day. Really, I do it every two days. I refill it and wash that thing out. And all I really do is rinse it. So I rinse out um the little water tank and I put some fresh water in. And what it does, it it gets held onto the side by this little bar. Like it clips onto the water bottle, which is really weird to explain, but I'll kind of show you guys right now. I'll turn it around for you guys. So, it clips onto the water, um, onto the side of the cage. And, yeah. And so, it came with that water bottle. It also came with the food tray that's in there, that green one. You guys can't really see it too well. But the food bowl that's in there, it came with that um the green little house that he has in there i bought i want to say it was around like four dollars it's just a 
basic plastic little house that I got him. And I also got him... Let's see, hopefully he don't bite me. <clears throat> he does bite a lot, but my, like I said, my hamster is very, like, feisty. I also bought him these fruit-flavored wooden chips. Uh, I mean, wooden chips. Wooden sticks that I also got from Petco. And those were, like, $3. Like I said, if you buy it online and just pick it up, it's way less expensive. They always have clearances going on. So, definitely recommend that. Here, I'll show you guys. This little setup. He really likes it. And let me show you what bedding I use. I this is the bedding I currently use. It's a natural softwood. It's um I I really just I really just picked this one because it's natural softwood. Um, it didn't have any fragrances to it. I feel like the fragrance ones would um, irritate his skin. So this one doesn't have any fragrance, but it's, it does absorb and, mo and um, lock in moisture. It has low dust in case anybody's worried about, like, you know, their allergies being triggered. Um... That's the one I use. And then I'll show you guys the food that the vet recommended. And once again, I'll leave these in the description as well. So this is the food that I currently give him. It's route, route, rat and mouse diet. And um, it just says that it has dried yucca and trying to get an angle on this dried yucca extract which helps to reduce waste odor it's a it helps with dental health and there's no artificial flavors or anything and then in the back it tells you the ingredients but it also tells you how much you should give each um depending on what you have whether it's a rice rice rats <laughs> mice or um, anything else it says approximately four to six pellets or one to two pellets depending on what you have so definitely read up on that and I like to close it a little bit just because the zip lock doesn't really work on that so I like to close it a little bit if you have like a chip clip that will probably help it you always want to make sure it's closed look it just unclosed just opened again so let me close it and then another thing that the cage came with that I forgot to mention was the um, was his wheel so this came with the cage the reason why it's not in there is because I currently don't have a sand bath for him look look he's climbing oh he stopped but I currently don't have a sand bath for him so what he likes to do when I put the wheel in there he honestly doesn't even use the wheel but he he goes pee in the wheel so the whole thing is just filled with pee all the time and I didn't want that to um, he didn't even use it and then it was constantly filled with pee so I just took it out also too I make sure he gets his exercise in by putting him in these little balls you can see he already like there's some droplings in there um but i always put him in this ball in the early mornings if i can if i have time in the early mornings i put him in there or if not when i get home from work i put him in there you never want to leave them in these little balls for more than an hour because they need um water of course they need to you know they can't tell you when they're hungry or thirsty obviously you know you guys so never leave them in this little ball for more than an hour and um what else and this is the um quick and clean instant shampoo that i have for him i just bought it off of amazon but this is the same brand that i was telling you guys 
I bought this cage from. But the only difference is I actually bought it through um, Petco, the cage. And that dry shampoo I bought through Amazon. So, um, <clears throat> but everything else I bought through Petco, including this little ball. Um, this is going to be the same brand that I bought the cage from. But this was sold separately, of course. And this was around, I think, um, I think I got it for $3. I think normally it's like maybe 5 And this is a decent size for a dwarf hamster. I think this was like 5 inches wide. And um, <clears throat> this is the temporary, um, what's it called? This was the temporary, um, house that I bought when I got him because I didn't want to Petco does give you a little cardboard box to take him in but they chew right through any cardboard paper any material that's you know chewable so um I just ended up buying him like a temporary box until we got home where I had his cage and this is not something you want to permanently keep them in. Like I mentioned, they need a certain amount of square space. This is just for the ride home, basically. And it has a little top part that you can open. But this is a lid. It has a little top part that you can open to put them in or take them out. And the lid is easily, like, it's just holes, basically. But not big enough for him to escape. And it's good for a temporary, like, space for a ride home. Or even, like, afterwards, after you get him to his home and his new cage. I still have it because it comes in handy, too. Like, okay, uh, when it comes to cleaning out his cage, which I'll show you guys in a few minutes. Um, you could just put him there temporarily with some a little bit of bedding. And he'll be fine. At least temporarily, you know, until the cage is clean or whatever you have to do. Um, you could just keep them on there. <clears throat> and yeah, so mainly the brand that I used was KT. As far as shampoo goes, the cage goes, and the ball goes. And then um, the food was a different brand. But I got through Petco as well. I got everything here through Petco except for the um, dry shampoo here. Um, but everything else I got through Petco. And that's everything that I used for him. And I just ordered on Amazon his sand bath. So that should be coming in. It's not really a necessity for you to have a sand bath. But I also think that it'll help like at least as far as skittles goes i think it'll help him like stay clean and if he needs to go pee i think he'll end up finding his way over there hopefully that's what i'm hoping for um but yeah otherwise you should definitely keep your wheel inside just for him to always have like some exercise throughout the day when he's not in this little thing the only reason why i said I took it out was just because he's always peeing in it and he rarely uses it you guys like rarely so I was like you know what I'm just gonna take it out because it's always filled with pee and I think he's chewing the hay right now I don't know who's that <laughs> but anyways I'll show you guys right now how I clean his stuff okay okay you guys so we are in the bathroom <laughs> And this is where I come to clean all his little, um, stuff like his wheel, his, um, his little ball. So what I do is run hot water and I put soap in it, but of course we use safe soap. So what I use is Dawn. As you know, this is the soap that the people use to save like little ducks that are stuck in the oil or get trapped up in oil messes in the ocean and whatnot. So we use that soap and I just use the regular Dawn. And I use, like I said, very hot water. What I do is go ahead and put, whether it's his bowl or his wheel or both, I go ahead and leave it in there and make sure like the hole is at the bottom. 
I also will put his cap in there and just let it soak for like at least, uh, I want to say 10 minutes. It really doesn't have to be long as long as it's sitting there. Um, I don't really like using any disinfectant or anything like that. I think I'm going to just clean out his cage using Dawn, honestly. Just because I feel like a disinfectant is just very, um, what's it called? Like the chemicals are very powerful and I just don't think it'd be safe to use. I would recommend any, um, like cleaning supplies that Petco has for specifically dwarf hamsters, but currently I don't have those. I, this is what I use tempor- well, I'll be using temporarily until I do. Um, and yeah, so I just used Dawn. Um, before I even put them in there, side note, I clean out the, um, the, the ball or the wheel. What I do is like just get some gloves always make sure you're wearing gloves for that you know um because they do like you know pooping in their little balls and their wheel so what i do is get some gloves and get some paper towels and i clean as much as i can out and i use the little doggy bags i know this might be extra but i have carpet where i have this cage so i don't want anything dropping onto my carpet so I just use the regular small little doggy bags and that's where I put like the drop links before I come here and put it in my sink and just let it soak. So this is what I do for about 10 minutes after I drain the water and everything. Before you ever put anything back into the cage, you always want to make sure it's all the way dry. So even if that means not using for a day or blow drying it, just make sure it's all the way dry before you put it back in. Um, <clears throat> it's just safer than putting it in and letting it create mold because of all the humidity and whatnot. So anyway, you just want to make it sure it's 100% dry afterwards. And then once it's all said and done and I let go of the water and everything's taken out, um, what I like to do is go back <laughs> into my sink just because I'm me and I go in with the bleach, the Ajax bleach. And I go ahead and spray that all over the sink so that um, no residue of the droplings or the urine or anything stays in the sink. So I always go over, you know, with that powder bleach and just let it sit as well. And yeah, that's just how I clean up his, his accessories. And that's how I'll be cleaning his cage. So far, I've only had them since the 4th of July. So I really just, um, the first time I cleaned his cage, I really didn't take everything out. I just took out the top layer of the hay, but I will be cleaning his cage this next week. And if you want, I can make a separate video, but I think honestly, I'm just going to take out all of the hay and then just go in and clean it with like a cloth and some Dawn. And, um, I think I'll just use that for now and just clean out his cage like that. But yeah. So just make sure everything's dry before you put it back in, guys. And I think that's it. That's that's all for my video. And um, if you guys would like to see any other videos or have any suggestions at all, please let me know. If you found this help video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. And stay blessed. Thank you.